uh, naming or nomenclature, we'll do this only for alkanes, but you'll see some of the concepts will distribute to the others, uh, like the other functional groups like alkenes and uh, even carboxylic acids. They'll have the same kind of thing that you're going to do. First, let me uh, give you some background here. So, an alkane will always end with that suffix, A-N-E. And likewise, if you're naming alkenes, they always end in E-N-E. Or alkynes will always end in Y-N-E. So the suffix, like ketones, always end in O-N-E. So the suffix of the functional group usually tells you how it's named. Okay, so these and an A-N-E, that's how they're named. Uh, to name alkenes, we'll often have to name branches. Because sometimes there'll be a branch or something sticking off of the main chain. So those are named as alkyl. That's alkyl, A-L-K-Y-L. So for example, you can have branches like CH3, CH3, CH2, CH3, CH2, CH2. Uh, you could have CH3, CH, CH3. Another common one you'll see is CH3. Things like that. These are branches. So on the right hand side, uh, right here, this is where they attach these kind of branches. This is where, where I put the big dot. That's where they attach to the main chain. So we need to learn how to name the branches uh, and then how to name the main chain. So let me show you how to do that. And I'll come back to this, so keep this handy in your notes. First, you want to remember the prefixes. The prefixes for one carbon is meth, like methamphetamines, that's one carbon. Eth, two carbons. Prop, like propeller, is three carbons. Ute, not but, is four carbons. Uh, pent, is five, like pentagon. Uh, hex, like I'm putting a hex on you, is six. Hep, that had nothing to do with six, I guess. Uh, like hexagon. Hept is seven. Uh, oct is eight. Non is nine. And dec is ten. So you have to know all those uh, ten prefixes for naming. So if you have a carbon with ten, a uh, molecule with ten carbons, that's a decade. Or could be. Eight carbons octane. So you got your high octane gasoline. Um, so let's put this together. If you're talking about something that's not a branch, then your prefix goes with the ane suffix, so octane, propane, butane, ethane, etc. If you're talking about something that is a branch, then your suffix is yl. So, for example, this would be what? Methyl, ethyl, propyl, and butyl, uh, pentyl, etc. for bigger and bigger branches. These two are special ones that you see often but don't have kind of a break the norm of a straight branch. These are branched branches. Uh, this one here has three carbons, so you're thinking propyl. But it's not a propyl like this is a propyl. It's attached in the center, not the end. And this is called isopropyl. Isopropyl. And this one has four carbons. One, two, three, four. You're thinking butyl, because there's four butyls. But uh, it's not in a straight chain. So we call this, see how it looks like a T on its side? Let's call this a T-butyl. T-butyl. Okay? So these are the only funky ones you need to know. But otherwise, they follow the pattern of methyl, ethyl, propyl, butyl, etc. 
the two funky ones are isopropyl and t-butyl. Those come up a lot, so you learn those kind of specially. All right, how do you put all this stuff together into one name? Let me show you. So here's your steps. ID the longest uh, straight chain. Longest non-interrupted straight uh, chain. This is the key part, and it's harder than you would think to find the longest chain. But you'll, you'll see. We'll try some examples. Number two, ID the substituents. You wonder, what the heck is a substituent? Those are the branches. So methyl, ethyl, propyl, things like that. So find your branches, find your main chain, and then follow uh, this template here that I'm going to give you. Okay? So you go like this. Uh, let's get a different color. You go your prefix. Uh, you go your branch or substituent. Uh, and, then, and this goes in alphabetical order. Uh, and then you go your long chain, your longest chain. Uh, and your prefix, for example, what do you do if there's two methyls? It's dimethyl. Does that make sense? If there's three methyls, it's a trimethyl. So similar to how we did in other naming systems. So follow di, tri, tetra, so notice these prefixes are different than the meth, eth, pro, -bute. These are your typical, like you saw in transition metals, like you saw in naming molecules. Those are these prefixes. So different than the meth, eth, pro, -bute, et etc. Okay, and then finally, um, I guess I should put this in the front. You've got to put a number. So for example, where is your branch? Is the branch on the second carbon? Is the branch on the third carbon, the fourth carbon? You've got to label where the branch is on the chain. Okay? So there's going to be numbers involved in these names. There will always be, almost always be numbers. And you always, a little hint here, kind of put it sideways, you want your lowest set of numbers. So you'll see there will usually be more than one option for your numbers. You want the smallest numbers possible. Okay? So now we'll try some examples. 